Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. anything good talk <coughs> ironwood what do you think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. 
We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Well, that's quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. <clears throat> oh, dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms, then. You know it doesn't work that way. Oh, sweet vessel, I wish it did. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. Which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Yappa! All right, more sounds. 
It's blocked. I need to destroy the sonic piece first. to hide things if he'd just trust me. How oh, can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Trust her. Why won't you tell me? I had a compass. Ah! 
I got this, right? Yeah, I got it. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Get off him! your senses yet yes i mean uh i'm not changing my mind ha you do have doubts oh. hey like you never do better than having regrets i'm not sure i agree with that but by all means keep going and you might find those too <gasps> yep that's the door Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What <laughs> makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. 
But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you'd already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tears alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Sword of Farm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Cinder. Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me. How did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Oops. I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. <laughs> Nightmare! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way uh, back. Did they ever quit? Yup! <laughs> Alfheim Tower. You were saying? 
Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. Really? It's now? You have to tell him. He has a right to know. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe, but Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are 
Seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. Have fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, 
You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vague. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. We seem better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. The living desert. Huh. I'll meet you on the other side. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. Oh. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Oh. Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh. 
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa, is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Behind you, brother! Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Beat to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> it's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But I'll, I'll go first. Atreus! Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, the light! Uh. Uh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. 
Aye. Fimple Winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Behind you! Watch out! <laughs> Behind you! <laughs> <laughs> came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Follow me, friends. Poor souls. Here, they came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. 
I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some people. This way. Brian awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. <laughs> Another of Cavassier's poems. Idea. There, friends, salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear, get back. they keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. looks right. Oh! 
Why not simply hold it in place? Let's continue our ascent, yes? lyricism from the mind of Gracia. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Find you! Incoming! I suppose I'll leave you to it. Behind your brother! 
I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Twilight stone on the ground. We can continue up this way. Father, over here. I come. Do what you must. Father, watch the oar! Here they come. Do what you must. Slidor, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
We still can't figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? And here we go again. <laughs> Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? I pray or not abandon the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. If he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. But I'll find perhaps, but not this. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Sparta. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see.
fine job, brother. This way. We're almost... still hear something wounded up there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. some soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for the curious, these light towers. It's facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Light of Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time. But I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now. United by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... went he'd... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... I thought... 
thought all the dark elves were here. Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I. What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I. I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss.
We can't stop Ragnarok. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, ugh, sand. What can I make for you? Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Have we more to talk about? Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Wait on flight bar! Careful! Take 
Before more arrive. Behind you, incoming. Really worked up. Think he's okay? Woke us, Atreus. This way. Light up on the left. <laughs> No. 